guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be filming my November favorites for you guys and I don't have too many new products some of them are fairly new what I tend to do is just go in my drawers look for older products that I haven't used in a while I try them out and then usually I do fall back in love with them so that's a good technique if you guys want to stop the shopping and just look through your own old stuff. Right, so November went by really really quick um I don't know these last months have been going by so quick which is usual which is normal because of the season you know Christmas is around the corner I can't even believe it and like Thanksgiving is like a week away which is crazy crazy well, to hopefully me. you guys can let me know what you're favoriting for the month and so I can read that in the comments I like to go take the time and read all the all right, so let's just get right into it no. All right, so I have one hair product that I've been really into. This is the Got To Be Guardian Angel 425 Fahrenheit Heat Protect Gloss Finish Flat Iron Balm. Yeah. I could have just said heat protectant. But anyway, this is the bottle. It's kind of funny. It's like a weird, weird looking bottle. But anyway, it's really good stuff. I mean, I feel like it protects my hair. But I, what I really, really, really like about this is that it does give your hair like a gloss finish. It makes it look a lot shinier. I am someone that has damaged hair, obviously, because of the bleach. So it makes it like a little bit more shinier. You feel me? Alright, so next is a setting spray. This is actually homemade. And this is the DLB Facial Setting Spritz, which is Danielle Lee Beauty. This is a school that I attend. It has a lot of awesome ingredients and... It smells like orange ass. It smells like oranges and it smells so good and it's all organic so amen to that girl. Amen. So all right, so next I have eyelashes. These are really new. Actually I bought them like two days ago and these are the eyelashes that I'm wearing now. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. Don't judge me. I just threw on this makeup really quick so hold on. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me turn to the side. If you guys, I mean, these lashes are like super fluffy, like they're not harsh. They look not natural, but full and just really pretty. They kind of remind me of the Ardell Double Ups, but these are a lot more um, separated, more fluffy. And the Ardell are just like real, real dramatic. So if you don't like the Double Ups, but you still want something very dramatic, these are the ones that you have to get. They are the Kid Fioni, Phony, I don't know how to say that word, Phony, Fioni, I think. But um, yeah, it's a really, it's their softly blooming collection. Natural floors blooming. Definitely yeah. recommend these 100%. Moving on, an eyeshadow that I've been loving um, to highlight with and to wear, like I basically highlight my inner corners, sometimes my cupid's bow, because it's a really pretty shimmery color. And this is the NYX um, Prismatic Shadow in Girl Talk. And oh my gosh, guys, I can you even like, I don't even have to say anything. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. It looks really pretty in the inner corner of the eyes, like I said. You can use it as a cheek highlight. Like, this color is so pretty. Very multi-purpose. Very multi-useful use. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But this is an awesome eyeshadow, so definitely check those out if you have. While we're talking about eyeshadows, another one that I like to use is Space Highlight. This is one that I went into my drawers and I searched. And this is the Infallible Ice Latte eyeshadow. So that is what it looks like. It's a very shimmery shade, like super shimmery. It reminds me of like Mary Lou Luminizer. So if you cannot get your hands on Mary Lou Luminizer because it's kind of expensive, I would definitely check these out. It is like eight to nine dollars, but I think it's worth it because you can use it on your eyes, um, everywhere, everywhere you want highlighted. This one is a good. This one. is an oldie but a goodie. You done? You done? No, you're not done. So this is a one of my favorite lip products. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. And this one is in the shade T-Rose. Super pretty. It is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. But I do have a base coat of the LA Girl LA Color Lip Liner, Eyeliner. It is in the shade Taupe. And then I just put some of this on top. And it gives me like the best color ever. It's kind of my dupe to cashmere. Lime Prime, isn't it? I don't All know. Right, so next I have some concealers. These are oldies but goodies as well. Like for a while I have not picked up my color because you know I kind of just forget about it. I've been buying so many concealers and I just had around to using these. There's three different shades. The darker one I obviously like to use to contour with. This one as well and I've just been really liking a harsh contour so I've been using these to kind of 
use as a cream contour and then I go over with powder. But these are amazing, they're like less than $3 each. This is the HD Pro Conceal from LA Girl. I have this one in the shade Classic Ivory, which has a really nice peach undertone. So if you are someone that suffers from dark under eye dark circles, this would be really good for you. And then the darkest one is the beauty, it's not the darkest one, but the darkest one I have is called Beautiful Bronze. And this color is amazing. Like it looks kind of scary compared to your, you know, if you're fair skin or whatever. But believe me, once you blend it out, it gives you the best contour. Then we have this one that is called Fawn. I'm not too fond of this. That's funny, I didn't do that on purpose. Um, so this one I'm not too fond of, but it's a, let me swatch it for you. Let me just shut up and swatch it for you. So that is the color right there. So as you can see, it pulls a little bit orangey. Um, what I would do with this one is just apply a small amount and then kind of bronze up the face using this color and then deeper contour with this one, if you know what I mean. So place this where you want to bronze, blend it out really good, make sure it's like kind of set, and then go in with a little tiny amount of this and just like, deepen up your contour. I don't know. If you want to see a video of me doing that, then please let me know and like the video so I can know. Alright, next, eye drops. These are the best eye drops in the world. They do hurt. They don't really hurt. They kind of feel really awesome and interesting. Like, you put them in your eyes, one drop, and you feel like an iceberg in your eye. Does that make sense? It just feels like you have this cooling... It's crazy. It's crazy. Just pick them up. These are the Roto Cool Redness Reliever Lubricant Eye Drops. Comes in a cute little bottle like this. I don't know if that matters. To me it kind of does. <laughs> it's just cute and it's very handy and oh my god guys, look at my eyes right now. I hadn't slept for like, my, my daughter's sick right now. She's just been super super sick and I haven't been able to sleep and look at My eyes look super white because of these. Um, I have gone through a whole bottle and I just picked this up again yesterday and hoping that I would still love them and oh my god I'm back in love with these so definitely get these I always apply eye drops before I do my makeup that's just my thing um because I like to have my eyes nice and white and yeah. um if you do let me know what you think about the way they feel it's kind of crazy all right so next I have some makeup face wipes these are makeup remover wipes and if you watch my previous videos if you if you're someone that watches my channel then you would know that I'd like to try so many different types of makeup remover wipes so I don't discriminate, but these are my all-time favorites. I will now probably only repurchase this. I don't know, I don't really want to say that because I may, I may change my mind. But these are freaking amazing. The sheet is really big. It like makes, takes any waterproof, any eyelash glue, like it just melts it off your face. It cleans your face so well. So they are more on the pricey side. They're like nine to ten dollars a package which is insane, but they work and I love them and I can always rely on these, so Neutrogena Makeup Cleansing Tolerance. So moving on, a mascara that I have been in love with is the Mega Lent Waterproof Mascara and this is what the brush looks like, nothing special. Um, actually, I do love the bristle. The reason why I picked this up is because of Carly Humber. If you guys follow her on YouTube, she is one of my favorite YouTubers and she's from Colorado too. So, so she talked about this, I had to pick it up and try it. Um, because I usually use MAC Extended Play on my lower lashes to get them to look full like this and this is what I have on and it worked really great. What I think did the trick was the little brush, like it really made me look like I have full bottom lashes, like I usually have none. So this stuff is amazing, wet and wild, it was only $2.99. And I think it was on sale, so. Okay, so next uh, eyeliner that I want to talk about is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I picked up a new one. I think I have like three. This is the black shade. It has a brush like this. I will never stop using this until I can find something better, which I don't think I ever will. And for the price point, it's amazing. It's $2. I'm wearing it today. It dries matte, and it is amazing. Like, if you have not gotten this, I don't know what you're waiting for. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is a mirror. Kind of silly, because it's just a mirror. But I honestly do get so many compliments on this mirror when I use it, if I put it in pictures. And as you can see, if you look up close, it's really faded. Everybody has always asked me where I've gotten this. I picked it up at the Dollar Tree many years ago, like five years ago, maybe more. Um, but yeah, it's just a mirror, nothing special. Super cute. So the other day I stopped in at Dollar Tree and yay, I bought two of them, one for my sister. One for me because it's like super shiny. Look at that. It looks so cute. But yeah, I found them again at the Dollar Tree. So definitely go check them out. See if they have them. 
I think I'm gonna go buy a few more, but this one has survived. It has been, it is a freaking survivor because if I have something around me that's made out of glass, there's a good chance that it will break eventually. Moving on, I'm going to be talking about this little tool. I think I'm gonna put this in an eBay video. I'm thinking about doing eBay hits and finds. So let me know if you want to watch those type of videos. But this is a little eyelash tool. I think it's pretty common. Um, but I want to say I got it for like 99 cents on eBay. And I honestly never really reached for it. I do use it on other clients. I have a few more. But as you guys know, it's a freaking struggle to put on your dang eyelashes. Sometimes they're just like, mm -mm, not going to do it. I'm not going to go on your face. But this is really cool. What you do is you place the eyelash, obviously. And then I like this little flat edge because you can just place it in the middle. Like, the middle is what you want to glue down first. And you just leave it. And then the little tweezer part, you just kind of adjust the sides. And bam, your eyelashes on. It doesn't take so long to put your eyelashes on with. And these tweezers are less threatening, you know? Like if you use regular pointy tweezers, you can potentially poke your eye out. Which you can with these, but it's a little bit safe. Okay, and the last product. Oh my god, I was so scared that I was going to fall in love with this. Because these are, I think they're $20 to $22. They are the Clinique cheek pop blushes and I got mine in the shade nude pop and I don't know if you guys can see that goodness but dang this is the color here the pattern is so cute the packaging is super cute because it's just an acrylic packaging it's so cute I love it and I kind of want all of them but yeah this is the color that I'm wearing now it is definitely one of those blushes that when you have a bold eye going on or something, this more than like the blush to go to because it's so natural, but yet it gives you a little something like, oh my god, I'm so in love with this blush. So I'm not really too into pink blushes. I know I need to go out and like wear more pink, but this is like usually the color I like. So definitely going to pick up some more of these. If you have some, let me know. Let me know what you think about them. All right, and that's it, guys. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. Please let me know the products that you have been favoriting for the month of November, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey.